Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been rotting away. I have some sort of a sinus infection, like pressure here. It's been a busy, I guess, three weeks it's been since, I'm at, uh, since I last made a video. Uh, my mother broke her leg. Uh, we've been sick. We've been busy. But I said, you know what? Enough is enough. We have to make time for the YouTube audience. And uh, here we are. guys uh, like I said it's been three weeks I believe maybe maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and um, I said you know hey what the hey let's uh, let's do a little pickup video let's let's show some stuff that I've picked up uh, since our last pickup video nothing crazy not a ton here but uh, we have blu-ray we have some 4ks we just have some random movie knickknacks and uh, we'll get started right away with the, with the real breadwinner here and that is the movie tie-in novel of Rain Man Yeah, the other thing is, um, until I have better lighting in this place, I'm stuck with the donut ring, as you probably see right here. So, uh, don't judge me on that one, okay? And, um, yeah, let's, let's get into this. All right, Licorice Pizza. Um, this was not released on 4K for some reason. I thought it would be. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson flick, not my favorite. You know, I love movies like this, but it just didn't carry the tone that I was expecting. I was expecting more of a dazed and confused. Instead, we got just me dazed and confused. All right, 824's, one of their newest flicks, X. And um, yeah, this is on the verge of being rated X. It really was. This, this is just a wild throwback to the late 70s, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left, uh, the gritty uh, grindhouse horror flicks. And uh, people call this elevated horror, whatever. It's, it's good horror either way. Um, basically, if you take a slasher and give us interesting characters to root for or to root against, um, this is it. Didn't quite have the twist and turns that I was expecting it to have, but solid flick. Solid flip. Okay, going overboard. No clue if this is on Blu-ray 4K. I was at the thrift stuff the thrift store and I was like, this is a very early Adam Sandler. I've never seen it. I probably paid a quarter for it. So um will I ever watch this? I think so. I think I'll get around to it. Okay, let's do probably something you don't really care about. The art of Walt Disney. This was also at the thrift. I paid maybe, maybe a dollar. So yeah, it's just got different art and whatnot uh concept art so yeah you know me guys i'm a i'm a disney historian call me crazy no well there they go they're falling the hulkster hulk hogan okay i mean it is hard to find wrestling tapes good ones at least not that this is like a great one or anything but you know this was at a yard sale i think for maybe a buck probably less and um yeah let's go straight to the video store because why would why would you not pick this up why 4K release from Scream Factory. I've yet to see this, which is a tragedy in itself. Escape from New York. I've heard good things. I've heard basically New York becomes a prison. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. So you got John Carpenter, Kurt Russell teaming up. You know it's going to be a good time. Okay. A movie I'd never heard about until the other day. Heart and Souls. And guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this here, but maybe not all of you do. So we're getting video form. Anyways, Heart and Soul, starring a young Robert Downey and Elizabeth Shue. That was pretty much all I needed to solidify my purchase. Went ahead and did that. Highly underrated flick. I don't know why this is not talked about, especially nowadays with Robert Downey and all the success he has. Uh, watched this with the family. Everybody everybody really liked it. And um, yeah, I thought it had a lot of heart and soul. Okay, another random pickup. The Gremlins sticker book. Because, you know, I mean, it's a Gremlin sticker book and... What, do I have to do I have to explain myself to you? I don't think so. We have Uncharted on 4K, and um, honestly, I thought this was better than the like the Rotten Tomatoes reviews gave it. I thought it was pretty solid. Um, I, I don't think I would have chose Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg as the two leads in here, um, and maybe that's what hurt it. But I thought it was entertaining. Uh, one of the better video game movies of all time, which is the bar is pretty low, so it's not really saying much. 
but yeah, I thought it was pretty solid. No problems there. And next we have the Monster Squad, which I don't think I showed this in the other update video. I hope I didn't. I got this also at a yard sale. I've had the DVD, I have the VHS, but I needed to upgrade to Blu-ray, so maybe I will, uh, I don't know, sell the DVD, trade it in somewhere. No clue. Um, just a great 80s throwback to the early Universal Monster flicks. You, I'm sure you guys have seen this. Maybe not. If you haven't and you love 80s movies, especially like if you like the Goonies and stuff like that, this is the horror Goonies, basically. And last but not least, which hopefully maybe I'll watch tonight. I don't know. It's True Romance, put out by Arrow Video. Just, just the other day I picked it up. And this is 4K. Um, I believe it's $29 on Amazon, something like that. This one has been on my list forever to watch. I have the other Blu-ray, and I plan on watching that. Never got around to it. I don't know what stopped me, but I was like, you know what? We got to get the arrow. We got to get the arrow. We got a booklet. I think we get a poster. It's on 4K. Uh, this lineup's crazy. You know, Slater, Patricia Arquette, Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's going to be a good time. I've heard it's pretty much a Quentin Tarantino movie that's uh, directed by Tony Scott. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Guys, I am, that video, the candy video, it's still happening, okay? We recorded it on my phone. I can't send it over to Isaiah to edit. I was going to upload it to the computer to send to him, and then the bunny rabbit chewed up the cord, the, um, the cord that needs to go to the computer from my phone to the computer. If that, I, I'm talking in riddles at this point. It's late. I'm sick. I don't know, guys. Um, it's still happening. I have the video. The video's done. It will happen. And also, I'm probably going to put it out, maybe a Criterion video. I know the Criterion sale started, I believe, today. Hopefully, I'll get around to Barnes & Noble. We'll have to see if I'm not too poor. I don't know. You never know with me. You never know. I could go in there and spend eight grand that I don't have, so I wouldn't do that. Um, anyways, guys, that's the pickup video. Uh, if you have any comments on these movies, let me know. If you want to see them, let me know. If you liked it, like it, sub, comment. Check out the next video and go catch a flick.